Hey film friends, I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Welcome to the channel. What do you get when you put hot priests from Fleabag in a world of ghosts? But not creepy ghosts, like deeply feeling empathetic specters. And three other actors. Wow, that's it? Yeah and a buck 40 runtime. A journey of coping with loss and opening ourselves to live and love again. I dare you to keep your eyes dry. This is Andrew Hayes, All of Us Strangers. Maybe I, didn't treat you quite as good as I think the best way to jump into the thematic richness of this film is to look at some of the director's stylistic choices. You know, All of Us Strangers is about loneliness and isolation, forlorn people searching for connection. And the film's whole ambiance and atmosphere reflect this. It opens on this massive high rise in modern London, but there's almost no other living souls around. It actually feels like something post-apocalyptic. And every time that Adam, the main character, moves around in the world, the camera only stays on him. He rides on trains with strangers, but he alone is in focus. Unless, Hay pans away to another individual for just a moment. But even then, we're always seeing it through Andrew Scott's eyes. So how would I describe this picture? It's one of quietness, stillness, and deep sadness. The script is often very sparse, and the shot composition is a ton of close-ups on faces. It's like we're supposed to be getting inside of these characters' heads. You know, the thoughts between the words that they're saying out loud. I wonder if people are enjoying this video. But this is just where we meet Adam. He doesn't stay there. And this is maybe, above all, what I love the most about this film. It simply has one of the coolest premises ever. Imagine a world where you could take a ride on a train to your old hometown. And when you arrived, your parents would be there to greet you but not old and gray. Instead, they'd be the age they were when you were a 12-year-old kid before they left this world. It's just remarkable, and it allows for some of the most incredible conversations to take place. And we learn that the journey of personal identity is really hard, but it becomes even harder when we're not loved and supported for who we are at our core. So all of us strangers grapples with grief and loss using this most fascinating way to deal with trauma, fantasy sequences and dreamlike reveries. First, there is a soul bearing convo with his mother about changing times and his personal personal identity as a gay man. Then another scene where Jamie Bell is masterful as his father. He's owning his ineptitude at supporting his son when he was being bullied as a child. You know, I think this idea of a really sweet and pensive tale about encounters with ghosts reminded me of David Lowry's A Ghost Story. But ironically, given Paul Meskel's presence in both films, this stuff really smacks of After Sun to me, which we reviewed for the channel last year and you can check out here. Better. Both films explore the wounds of our parents, grown-ups who were just people like us and, though well-intentioned, hurt us even when they didn't mean to. The imperfection of subtle gestures or actions not taken that leave lasting scars. And as Adam's character is dealing with the past, he's also exploring the possibility of opening up to new love in the present. So the message seems to be that we need to heal from our old wounds before we can give our all to a committed relationship now. And look, all of the performances are roundly solid. Meskel is gonna be an absolute star, and Belle and Foy are so grounded and lived in as his parents. But Andrew Scott is next level. The ability to convey wells of emotion with simple phrases and voice inflections. And I've mentioned the score already, but the soundtrack slaps too. Blur, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Pet Shop Boys, Five Young Cannibals, just an awesome past time capsule. And that very final image, now that's an all-timer. All right, let's move on to some dislikes. To my mind, there's just a couple of ways to come at all of us strangers. Probably the chief one is that the further you worm your way into Hayes' plot, the more things start to come apart. And I think for some people, this would be most apparent in the film's concluding scene, which is a reveal of sorts, but is really more about making sure that the protagonist's arc comes full circle. But I'll admit, it's hard at times to discern exactly what is real and what is fantastical. And I do think that the picture's final images can be interpreted in several ways. I've landed on one that I'm comfortable with, 
but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if enough people request it, I'd be happy to do a short exploring the more surrealistic elements in more detail. But I'll just say foundationally that I think all this is a little bit of missing the forest for the trees. The ghost story elements are more of a vehicle for an exploration of grief and loss than anything concrete or linear. This is a mood piece, guys. Some things you just gotta kinda roll with. But let me just say, for me personally, All of Us Strangers is deeply felt and entirely human in a way that every single person who is willing to open themselves up to can grab a hold of and grasp with profundity. So, what do we conclude? All of Us Strangers is a vulnerable film that is softly shattering. A personal ghost story about the colossal absences left in us when loved ones depart, and how that can shape our entire existence into the future if we're not careful. It's an incredible marriage of mood and content, and a veritable fountain of powerhouse performances by its four leads. A film that, in the end, is crushingly sad, yet somehow supremely hopeful. Well, there you have it. The only thing left to discuss is our rating for this picture. FOF gives All of Us Strangers 4.4 out of 5 stars. If you enjoyed this review, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to visit FermanOnFilm.com for even more movie content. Or you can click on these two videos right here. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Stay firm, my friends.